you, New Jersey! And so the midterm elections are over, and what have we learned? Well, first we learned that political power is expensive and getting more expensive. A record $5 billion was spent on hundreds of campaigns across the country, mostly on TV ads that reached a new level of ugliness. After 9-11, the greatest threat to our democracy lived in a cave. Today, he lives in the White House. There is no question this election was a referendum on Donald Trump, a fact that President Trump not only accepted, he relished making sometimes dozens of campaign stops a week and as many as three in the same day. A vote for Morrissey is a vote for me. A vote for Marsha is really a vote for me. And a vote for Cindy is a vote for me. And a vote for Steve is a vote for me. If there was any doubt at all that the midterms were about Donald Trump, he made certain he drove home the point. So how does America feel about Donald Trump? Well, is it surprising at all in a nation divided that we had a split decision? The Democrats picked up seats in the House and the Republicans picked up seats in the Senate. Now, it is not unusual at all for a president to lose seats in the House, sometimes a lot of seats in the House, in his first midterm. President Obama lost 63 seats in 2010. Bill Clinton lost 54 seats in 1998, and President Reagan lost 26 seats in 1982. So what do these numbers tell you? It tells you that Americans like a split government. They don't want either party or any person to have unchecked power. This is a political desire that is part of America's DNA. Our Constitution is thick with checks and balances. They have kept our government dysfunctionally effective through our nation's existence. But sometimes that dysfunction gets frustrating, so much so that we lose our faith in government. Not this year. Record-setting midterm turnout showed new faith in the process. Long lines formed at polling places across the country with a renewed understanding that our votes matter. And I don't care if you're Democrat or Republican or independent, if you're elated or you're disappointed by the results, the turnout should fill you with an American pride that our democracy is thriving. And now, Donald Trump has a new foil. Nancy Pelosi once again is expected to be voted in as Speaker of the House. These two claim they can work together. Wouldn't that be nice? Trust me, it's not gonna happen. Our country will remain divided. And I know it might be hard to believe, but the rhetoric could get even nastier. You know why? Because everything now is about the 2020 presidential election that starts, well, now. With as many as 30 Democrats competing to see who gets to run against Donald Trump, plus every House seat will be up, dozens of Senate seats, hundreds of local races. Oh, take a deep breath. Here we go again. I'm Larry Menti. Talk to you soon. This time of year, what do you give? When it's your extra concert, game, or special event tickets to Vet Ticks, you're giving our nation's service members and veterans an amazing experience they'll cherish forever. This holiday season, don't just give. Vet Ticks, give something to those who gave. For more information on how you can make a difference right now, go to vetticks.org.